Okay, today I'm going to show you how to analyze the, the uh, fluctuation of the, the intracellular calcium level using image J. So here we have the, the uh, recording of the, the intracellular calcium level from some sample. So in this case, we use the, the IPS differentiated cardiomyocytes. Here we can see the, the nice fluctuation of the, the intracellular calcium level. And this is the, the uh, final result of the, the analysis. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do this analysis using ImageJ. All right. So here is the, the actually the, the bright field image of the other um, this IPS cells. So obviously um, we can see the, the spontaneous contraction here, and we are interested in, in the other uh, fluctuation in the intracellular calcium level. And for that purpose, we use image J. But before that, uh, we have to add specific plugin, which is called the, the time series analyzer. So now we go to uh, internet and search for the, the that plugin, uh, like Fiji time series analyzer and you will find the, the this page and here you can find the other um, time series analyzer.jai file and and now we are going to add this plugin into um, image j folder so click this and download the file and no so we open the other download folder and here we can find the other downloaded time series analyzer.jar and now we open the, the application folder uh, so this is mac but the um, windows has similar folder for the the uh, image j fiji fiji is the upgraded uh, version of the, the image j so we open this folder and here you can find plugin folder so i move this downloaded file to um, plugin folder and you can find the other um, time series analyzer.jar which we downloaded so now we are ready to open the other image j Actually, I already started image J, but that after you install the, the um, jar file, you have to restart image J. It's going to take some time. All right. So at first, Okay, then let's see if we successfully uh, moved the other uh, jar file. So here we have plugin, and you should find the, the time series analyzer v3 here. So now we are ready to use this plugin. So let's open the the movie file. So here we have import menu and choose AVI and this is the other uh, movie for the other intracellular calcium recording and um, image J is going to ask you about the, the parameters such as use virtual stack and here is the other convert to grayscale menu check it and place OK so now uh, we, we can see the, the video as a stack and we can play this video like this. All right, then maybe it's convenient to magnify the view if the video is uh, not big enough. So we are interested in 
obviously this location and maybe here because it's showing the relatively small fluctuation in the intracellular calcium level. So we're going to choose a three or four region of interest RI from here. Um, for that purpose, we're going to open the uh, Analyze Tool and ROI Manager. This is it and we are going to select the other uh, ellipse tool and we select this place as the, the number one region of interest and add ROI and next interesting place may be here add ROI and maybe we are also interested in here as well. So we add ROI here because all these three ROIs are showing spontaneous fluctuation in the, the intracellular calcium level. Maybe um, we are also interested in here because it's not showing the, the fluctuation in the intracellular calcium level at ROI. And what's important is that the, uh, the, um, um, we keep record about the, uh, the, these ROIs because uh, often later uh, we need to uh, remember which region of interest we use for the analysis. For that purpose, we save this region of interest from here and save ROI. So now we are ready to go. All right, so now we choose one of these ROI and go to plugin time series analyzer and press get average. Cool, isn't it? So now this graph shows the, the fluctuation in the intracellular calcium level uh, within this ROI. So the, basically the, the intensity of the, the signal is averaged inside this region of interest and this is the, the uh, quantified result of the, the um, signal. Uh, because this is 8-bit image, the signal um, is between the, uh, the the range between the 0 and 255. 255 is the maximum intensity. So uh, as you can see here, actually the, the um, averaged um, intensity inside this ROI is 255, meaning that the actual this signal is saturated. Actually, this is not very good if you want to quantitatively measure the uh, the uh, signal intensity. So uh, when we record the uh, um, imaging signal, um, it's better to reduce gain uh, to uh, have the signal uh, within the range between 0 and 255. All right. And now we choose ROI2 and do the same thing. Get Average, oops, just a moment, what should do? Yes, now it's working. So it's nicely analyzed the other uh, signal fluctuation in this ROI. So if you choose only one ROI, then the other Plugin is going to show the, the, the result of only one ROI, but if you choose the, the all ROI using shift click and get average, then uh, you're going to get the, the nice um, summarize, not summarize, the, the individual results for the, the all four region of interest like this. So this is what we wanted to acquire. So now we are ready to um, select all and copy result. 
and go to Excel. Maybe we can use the new worksheet like this and paste it. Yes, so this is the result. Um, here we have via the intensity reading from via the ROI 1, ROI 2, and ROI 3, and ROI 4. Uh, these are the, uh, the uh, average value of the, uh, the reading. And this time we are not going to use this, so we can delete these. And another important information is time. So let's say the, uh, the, that the, first, uh, the time at the, the first frame was zero. And because um, the, the interval of this movie was 34 milliseconds, so enter the, the time in seconds, 0 0.034. So this is time in seconds. And we can drag this down to the, the end of the other frames. So it has about um, 580 frames. So it was 20 seconds recording. And we're going to create the other um, nice graph using this time series data. Insert graph and choose the other um, scatter plot and choose this graph type here and you obtain the other nice curve like this and and this is the other um, final result so i added the other um, horizontal axis uh, label and vertical axis label it's always important to add the the, uh, the title for the, the axis like time in seconds and the, the relative process unit and here we have the the nice um, quantitative quantitative result of the, the the fluctuation of intracellular calcium level and you are ready to use this graph for your nice presentation all right I hope uh, this can help you